Hello, my name's Hilary Eden and I'm a pharmacist with over 20 years experience working for the NHS in the UK. Welcome to Hills Pills. In these videos, I'm going to provide you with some useful information about medicines that have been prescribed for you by your doctor. In this video, I'm going to talk about Candy Sartan. Candy Sartan is an angiotensin II receptor antagonist. It's also called an angio two, angiotensin II receptor blocker, or ARB. Candisartan works by relaxing your blood vessels and letting them widen, and therefore this decreases your blood pressure and makes it easier for your heart to pump blood around the body. So Candisartan can be used to treat increased blood pressure or hypertension and it can also be used to treat heart failure. You shouldn't take candisartan if you're allergic to it. You shouldn't take it if you've got any kind of liver disease or if you're pregnant, think you may be pregnant or are planning to become pregnant. You also shouldn't take candisartan if you're taking a drug called aliskirin, if you've got diabetes and you've got reduced renal failure. You should take Talk to your doctor or pharmacist before you take candisartan if you know you've got any kind of heart disease, liver problems or kidney problems, if you're on dialysis or you've recently had a kidney transplant. You should also be careful if you've got vomiting and diarrhoea, if you've got a condition of your adrenal gland called Kohn's syndrome, if you know you've got reduced blood pressure, you've got a history of stroke, or also, as I mentioned, if you're pregnant, think you may be pregnant or planning to become pregnant. And you shouldn't take candisartan if you're breastfeeding. Taking candisartan is quite straightforward. It comes in 4, 8, 16 and 32 milligram tablets. For hypertension or raised blood pressure, the usual starting dose is 8 milligrams once a day and then that's increased, if necessary, to control your blood pressure up to 16 milligrams once a day or 32 milligrams once a day. If you've got liver or kidney problems, your doctor may start you on a lower dose than that. And if you're of a black ethnic origin, candisartan doesn't work as well and you may need to be started on a higher dose. For heart failure, the starting dose is four milligrams once a day and then that's usually increased at two week intervals to eight milligrams, then two weeks later to 16, and then two weeks later to 32 milligrams. If you're taking candisartan and you need to be treated by another doctor or dentist or have surgery, you should let them know you're taking candisartan. Also, while you're taking candisartan, your doctor may need to do some blood tests and these are to check your blood pressure and your kidney function, and also your electrolytes such as potassium. When you take your candisartan tablets, try and take them at the same time every day. You can take them with or without food and you should swallow them whole with water. If you take too much candisartan, you should see your doctor or pharmacist. If you forget a dose of candisartan, don't double up the dose, but take just take the next dose at the time it's due and don't stop taking candisartan suddenly you should discuss with your doctor if you don't think it's suitable for you because you can get a sudden increase in blood pressure like all medicines candisartan has some side effects one of these very rare is allergic reactions so if you get a sudden onset of shortness of breath swelling of the mouth, face, lips or eyes, or you develop a skin rash, you may be having an allergic reaction and you should go back and see your doctor. The other common side effects of candisartan are that it can cause dizziness, a sort of spinning sensation, headaches, an increased risk of chest infections, it can decrease your blood pressure and it can increase the levels of potassium in your blood. Also, again rare, but candisartan can decrease the number of white blood cells in your body and that does increase your risk of infections. 
Candisartan does interact with some other medicines, particularly other medicines used to treat blood pressure or heart conditions. It also interacts with aspirin and non-steroidal drugs. You shouldn't take it if you're taking other potassium supplements. And it can interact with some diuretics, lithium, aliskerin, as I've already mentioned, ACE inhibitors, and some other drugs used to treat heart failure, such as spironolactone. So, if you're being prescribed other medicines or are buying medicines over the counter, always let the doctor or pharmacist know that you're taking candisartan. Finally, drinking alcohol with candisartan. This is not usually advised as the effects of the candisartan and the alcohol can make you feel quite dizzy. Also, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery if you're feeling dizzy from taking candisartan. I hope this information has been helpful. If you need more detailed information about candisartan, please read the patient information leaflet that came with the medicine when it was dispensed by your pharmacist. If you don't have a copy of this leaflet or you need another one, you can download it from www.medicines.org.uk. If you're taking other medicines, you might want to see my other videos. These are either available on YouTube or please visit my website www.hillspills.com Thanks very much.